Don't forget to subscribe TechWast Vlogger and also tap the bell icon to never miss a video from us. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to install and repair Active Directory users and computers on Windows Server 2008 R2. We will also talk about some of the features available with Active Directory. Once again, friends, my name is Nathan Lan and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel TechWast Vlogger. Also, I encourage all of you to subscribe my channel in case you haven't subscribed it yet. Alright, let's begin. For demonstration purpose friends, I have already created one of the virtual machine that contains Windows Server 2008 R2. If you would like to know how to install Windows Server 2008 R2, you can click on the link reflecting on your screen right now. Before installing Active Directory role on this uh, Windows Server 2008 machine friends, I have simply uh, given one static IP to, the, to this machine. So let's type IP config. As you can see, I have one IP already assigned to this machine. Now we can simply go ahead and run DC promo to sorry DC promo to include the Active Directory role on this Windows 2008 server. Now simply hit next on the screen. Again, click next. Now, if you already have existing forest in your environment, you can select this option. But in my case, I'm going to create a new domain altogether. Uh, it's going to be a new forest as well. So I'm going to select this. Simply supply the name of the domain. Uh, so I'm going to give it a name as techwastvlogger.com. Uh, it's just verifying that that particular name is already exist within the forest or not. So it's a new forest altogether. So we need not to worry here. So I want to set the forest functional level to Windows Server 2008. I'm going to hit next. Yeah, domain functional level is also fine. 2008. Now, uh, in my scenario, friends, I don't have any DNS. So I want to use uh, this machine as my DNS server as well. So I will leave that option checked here and then I'm going to hit next. Oh, it's just a warning uh, you can see on my screen right now because uh, we don't have any DNS already in place. So uh, I'm going to use this machine as a DNS server as well. And yeah, we are fine. So I'm going to click next. Yeah, these are the defaults. Um, uh, let's take to the so that uh, that password is required in case if you would like to restore your Active Directory in future. So I'm going to supply a password uh, here. I'm going to hit next. Uh, if you would like to export the settings, whatever you have done so far, you can do that here. I don't want to do it. So click next. As you can see, as soon as I hit next, uh, it started installing uh, Active Directory role on this machine. I'm going to install different binaries which include under Active Directory. So this thing is going to take a bit of time. So I'm going to pause this video for now. I will be back as soon as this installation is complete. And we are back. As you can see that uh, everything has been installed and I got this screen whereas I can just simply go ahead and click next and it's going to ask me to restart my machine. So I'm going to do it right away. Yes, go ahead and restart. As you can see that my machine has been booted up and just applying the computer settings at this moment. So this thing going to take a bit of time. All right, as you can see my machine has been booted up. So I'm going to log into this machine. Here you can see that my domain name is reflecting now as TechWast Vlogger. So I'm going to supply the password here and log into my domain controller. So now this machine of mine is acting as a domain controller at this moment. So we will just simply go ahead and open Active Directory users and computer on this machine and see what all things are there. All right, so it's booted up completely. I'm going to type dsa.msc. Uh, you can open it from administrative tools as well. As you can see that I have this Active Directory Users and Computer Snap-in already here. Uh, sites and services uh, to manage uh, the domain controllers belongs to the same subnet or different subnet. You can uh, do that here. PowerShell, if you are going to PowerShell, you know how to control Active Directory with PowerShell. You have 
uh, that available here as well. Simply uh, import the module and then afterward uh, uh, execute or, or manage your Active Directory using PowerShell commands. Domain and trust is there. If you want to set the trust among different forests, different domains, you can do it from here. As you can see that I have Active Directory users and computers open on my screen. Now we got one request whereas uh, our IT department would like to have one new OU credit as well as they would like to have one new security group as well as they would like us to create two new users within that uh, uh, organizational unit. So to do that, just simply right click here, click on new and select organizational unit. Now I'm going to give it a name as IT for now and then click OK. The, the next task is that they would like to have a few users created under this uh, ITOU. So to do that, just again simply right click on this ITOU and then click users. Now I'm going to give it a name as uh, IT uh, underscore user 1. So IT underscore user one click next now if you select this option then user uh, do have a flexibility to change the password during the very first login so uh, I'm gonna give it a password here click next and then finish as you can see that my IT user underscore one sorry IT underscore user one is created so I'm gonna create another user under this OU so I'm gonna give it a name as IT underscore user two IT underscore user 2, click next. I'm going to stick with the defaults right now. So again, I'm going to give the password here, click next, and then finish. As you can see that I have two users already created. As I said that, we have another requirement, whereas the, they would like us to create one security group as well under this IT OU. So to do that, just simply right click on it you can right click here as well or you can right click here uh, it doesn't make any difference so simply click on group I want to give it a name as uh, IT users underscore group for now and click OK that's about it let's say for instance if you would like to add these two users under this group you can simply double click on that group click on members click add you can go to advanced or you can supply the names here and then click check names. I don't have much users, so I'm going to click advanced, find now. So here are my two users. I'm going to select those two users and then click OK. That's it. As you can see here, under members, I have those two users. I have one separate security group for my IT users. I have uh, two users which they have requested us to create. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the very next tutorial of mine. Until then, I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.